What's going on everybody? Vital Syntax here. And this is some more gameplay from Medal of Honor Warfighter and uh, using the TAC-50 again. I had a lot of people request some more gameplay with this gun so I'll definitely do uh, a couple more videos about this gun because I have so much gameplay with it because it's such a freaking awesome gun. Now my plans for other uh, Warfighter related videos is I want to start a series probably, in, probably during this weekend. Um, going over each class in the game. So there's, you know, the total of six classes I was planning on making a video for each and kind of show what my personal favorite setups are for, you know, what, what weapons, what attachments, um, and also how to use the different skills and perks that the, each class has and, you know, when, when they're best, uh, I guess, what situations each class is best situated for. Um, but this gameplay right here is actually from Sector Control, which is basically domination or conquest um so you have three flag points and the more you hold the more points you get so i mean everybody kind of already knows how to play something like that and this is one of the score chains right here called the switch blade which is one of my favorite score chains it's kind of similar to the guided missile um and i think it has a, a smaller blast radius and like i said in one of my previous videos uh, each class has a different set of score chains aside from the last score chain and yes, there are some other, you know, overlap, like a couple different classes have smoke screen, a couple different classes, um, you know, might have this uh, score chain or this score chain, but in general, most of them have different sets. And the, the recon class has that switchblade, which is really awesome. I, I, in my, that montage video I uploaded with the TAC-50, I had a quad feed with it, or a quad kill, so it definitely does quite a bit of damage, um, and it's really fun to use. But in this gameplay, what I ended up getting was another... Apache Gunner, which I think is probably around the 10th or 15th Apache Gunner I've gotten. Uh, and I get quite a few kills with that. I've kind of figured out actually how to use it properly. You can control the actual movement of the Apache, so you can use your WASD keys, at least on PC, uh, to move it around the map. And you can also you know, aim with your mouse. But it is very limited. You can't really tilt the Apache down too much. Uh, and you can't move very quickly, uh, so it is kind of hard, uh, believe it or not, to get an angle. Although, you know, you have you know massive missiles that you can basically shoot on fully automatic. And you've got a gunner who can see most of the area below you. Uh, and what usually happens is the gunner actually usually gets more kills. I think this one, did, at least uh, in this gameplay, that didn't happen. But on the all the other uh, Apache gunner or chopper gunner, score chains that I've gotten. Whoever was my fire team buddy, which uh, obviously is going to be the person who is the gunner, uh, usually gets more kills. And it's kind of, uh, I don't know, backwards. I wish you kind of had a, an option you could choose between, you know, if you actually unlock the score chain in the Apache gunner, maybe you should be able to choose between uh, the pilot and the gunner, because I would much rather be the gunner uh, and just rack up those kills. But regardless, uh, it's still you know, pretty freaking awesome. And then, once again, that's a score chain that everybody ch uh, shares, so there's essentially four different tiers of score chains. Um, and then you have, obviously, an offensive choice and a defensive choice, so for a total of eight score chains per class. Uh, so once you ha get your first score chain, they do stack, too, so you can use your, your, your score chains to achieve more score chains and just keep doing that snowball effect um, until you hopefully reach the last one, obviously, if you don't die. All right, so let's talk about the TAC-50 because this is something I had a lot of questions about on my previous video is exactly how much damage does it do, when is it a one-hit kill, where is it a one-hit kill, what range, and I don't have the full statistics on it. Uh, hopefully so that will be released sometime soon on something like synthic.com. But from what I can tell, it is a one-shot kill at every range in basically anywhere in the upper body uh, and shoulders and chest and stomach um, basically as long as you don't shoot them in the legs or feet and as long as you don't shoot them in like the arm at least like the lower arm if you shoot them like the shoulder uh, it'll probably kill them but if you shoot them like the hand or something it probably won't kill them in one hit they'll probably have like two or three percent health left um, but in general it is a one hit kill now the bet to balance that out they've kind of made uh, some pretty significant drawbacks to this weapon. The first one is that you move quite slow, uh, definitely a lot slower than the TAC-300, which is the other bolt-action rifle in this game. And uh, you also ADS slower, 
the reload time is incredibly slow. The fire rate is incredibly slow. Um, basically everything about it is really slow. And also another major thing they did is that there's a lot of sway to the gun. It, you know, it, it moves back and forth quite a bit when you're when you're looking through your scope, and you can't hold your breath quite as long. At least at least that's what it seems. Once again, I don't have you know the actual statistics for it, but it seems like they they balance it out pretty pretty well. Um, and it's not always the best option. Uh, you know, at super long ranges, you probably uh, might be better off with something like the TAC 300. I personally just like the 50 cal just because it's one hit kill and you can kind of use it on a run and gun type of situation. Although if you miss that one shot, you know, you don't have time to rechamber another bullet. Um, and something like, to be honest, I don't remember the name, I think it's the Laura OBR, uh, which is the semi-automatic or one of the semi-automatic sniper rifles. That thing is a beast, uh, just as, as much as this sniper is. It's uh, semi-automatic, has a really high fire rate, a 20 round magazine, and I believe it kills in uh, two upper body chests, it kills one headshot or three, you know, like stomach shots, leg or arm shots. So that thing's pretty powerful too, and you can basically, you know, just tap fire it super, super quickly. Uh, it doesn't have too much recoil either, but once again, this TAC-50 is just so awesome and so fun to use. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give me a like or a favorite. Remember to subscribe for more Medal of Honor, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice, Bye. Sweet. Well played, sir. Well played. Dude, that's the mission of my director. I just know it is.